Thank you. Well, studies do show that if your child thinks you would view their drinking underage as very wrong, there is a very small chance they will drink, only about 3%. That's why parents having clear rules about underage drinking is so powerful, and there are some skills parents can learn. Let's dive in here. Let's talk about some of those skills. What has research shown works for parents? And you know, what we do know, and I first just want to emphasize the very important role that parents play in this life altering decision, really. Um, and what we know is that when we ask kids, what is the number one reason that they choose not to drink alcohol, that they very clearly say that their parents are the number one reason. You know, Heidi, how do you go about having that conversation with your children? Should it be a sit down formal meeting or would you suggest just little hints, little reminders consistently? Yeah, absolutely. The reminders and Kelly, what you're saying ties in really great to the next really important skill that parents need. And that is to create this sense of bonding with their child, a warm relationship. So to create that bond, parents can do a lot of things, but one of them is to just create these authentic and organic conversations throughout their day. You can bring it up at the dinner table, maybe when you're in the car riding together, um, to, to talk to them about underage drinking, some of the harms that are associated, and maybe even troubleshoot and role play situations with them, were they asked um, to take alcohol, how they would deal with that situation or, or what is scary to them and, and so that they know that they have an ally in their parent and handling some of those uncomfortable situations. And I get it, those are tough situations, not only for your child in that situation, but as the parent to intervene and take them home. And, and I think sometimes the first initial reaction from a parent is, why are you hanging out with them? You said the parents were gonna be home and then they were, and, and all this is happening, right? To, to get upset, anxious, worried. Is that the correct tactic? Of course you want to keep them safe, but there are underlying you know, conditions and conversations that need to be had here. Yeah, you know, Kelly, as a parent, I can relate to what you're saying, that worry and concern that, that sometimes comes out as frustration. But I want to contrast what you just said with maybe a parent that has gone into this issue prepared, right? That they've had those conversations with their child. They said, if alcohol is present, send me a text, I'll intervene, um, I'll pick you up. And just imagine the child coming up to the car and saying, hey, mom, hey, dad, thanks for having my back. I was really uncomfortable in there, but that worked and here you are. And a parent saying, you know what, let's go grab some ice cream and go watch a movie. You know, Heidi, let me ask you this. There are certainly plenty of parents out in our state that drink responsibly and have alcohol in their home and their children may see them when they have a dinner party or whatever, have a glass of wine. How do you delineate to your children? Yes, you see mom and dad have a drink, but we're older, we're of age, we're being responsible, but for you, things are different right now. How do you go into that conversation? Um, only 12% when we asked parents that same question predicted that kids would get alcohol from their own home. The reality of that is 59% are getting their alcohol from home or somebody else's home without any uh, parental permission. What's even more alarming is that 44% of Utah kids who drink get their alcohol at home with their parents' permission. But we know that when they are drinking, even within the home, there really is no safe way to drink underage because there's not a way to protect that developing brain.